Got to be said, I didn't realise how windy it was here. It's really windy. But anyway, uh, look up the little playground, and I've got the ramp out, which I haven't had out for quite a while. And uh, I just want to see how this works out on the ramp. It is a that's the setup. Tracks a slash 4x4 with Proline Badlands, 17mm hex conversion, low C springs, uh, that's a 4S LiPo. We've got the Turnigy 1900 kV uh, sort of ape scale size motor, SC8 waterproof ESC. And we've got a wing and a Mugen body. So that is basically the setup. And one thing I always hated about the slash was the the way it jumped. I just don't like the way it jumps. The body, loads of air, and all that kind of thing. So let's see how this jumps. So, and it's got a centre diff. That's the other thing to mention. Ooh. Seems all right after that. Totally the wrong throttle input to give at that point. Woo! Okay, so it just switched itself off, which is no surprise, considering. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Something doesn't sound too. Okay, so I've opened that up. Now, this is where you have to be very careful about the routing of your cabling on your batteries. Look at where that cable is. That black cable in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's managed to, to weave its way right under the right under the central shaft there right next to the cog so I'm gonna have to probably get the motor out to try and get that out and it may be pinched I don't know there's the wire you can see it's been uh, cut so or chafed it's not cut but um yeah not good news a bit of uh, electrical tape and a bit of a makeshift Cable tidy, and we're getting ready to give it another go. It keeps switching itself off for some reason, it doesn't like that ramp impact. off again. No, it's off again. <laughs> That's better. 